Hey folks, how are you? This is Gil with Fortitude Consulting. Um, wanted to have a quick discussion on using intentional language when we are coaching and mentoring shooters. Uh, what do I mean by using intentional language? Uh, oftentimes when we are teaching someone how to shoot a firearm, we end up inadvertently using the incorrect uh, word, uh, phrase, uh, the incorrect language, if you will. And we need to be very intentional about the language that we're using to communicate these thoughts, ideas, and concepts, because as I say in my courses, uh, oftentimes, words mean things. And if you use the wrong word, you're gonna communicate the wrong information, and you're actually setting that individual up for failure. Uh, what do I mean by that? Let's just look at the very simple uh, idea or concept of activating the trigger. How do we go about activating the trigger? What words do we typically use when we describe this action here, right? Nine times out of 10, you hear terms like, uh, I want you to uh, touch and slowly squeeze the trigger to the rear or press the trigger to the rear or, or even worse, push or, or pull the trigger to the rear. Why are those terms not the ideal terms to use? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the hard wiring that we have as human beings for those particular terms. Uh, let's take the very first one, the, the idea of squeezing the trigger to the rear. If you bring your dominant hand up in front of you and you think of what motion you would make or what action you would take when I told you to squeeze something, typically you're gonna utilize your entire hand to do that, okay? That's what we're hardwired to do when we squeeze something. So when we go ahead and ask an individual to touch the trigger and then squeeze it to the rear, slowly squeeze it to the rear, what we typically end up getting is the entire hand will go ahead and squeeze as the trigger's activated and we get a, sh a low shot. And then we go ahead and call it something like anticipation, which is bullshit, but that's for another video. Um, so if we utilize that term squeeze, we go ahead and set that individual up for failure because they're doing exactly what we asked them to, squeeze the entire hand as that trigger's being activated. What I would propose is to use a term uh, that will rewire what you want that individual to do, which is isolation of the trigger finger, ultimately. How do we go about doing that? Well, we use a different term completely. Uh, if I ask you now to go ahead and take your dominant side hand and bring it up in front of you and ask you what action you would think of with your hand when I ask you to pinch, what do we normally do? This right here, okay? That right there is the very definition of isolation of the trigger finger movement. So when we get someone in a position to shoot a firearm, and we ask them to go ahead and touch the trigger and then pinch the trigger to the rear, typically what you're gonna end up having is isolation of the trigger finger and no movement in the gun whatsoever. Why is that? That's because we're giving them a specific thing to do and we're being very intentional with the language that we're using and it accomplishes the goal far more efficiently in my opinion than using terms like squeeze, push, pull, press. Uh, so give that a shot the next time you are coaching or mentoring a, uh, a shooter, or the next time you're actually coaching yourself when you're up on the line and you're trying to fire that really good, precise group. Instead of thinking of squeezing the trigger to the rear, think to yourself, prep the trigger and then pinch it to the rear, which will, in your mind, isolate that trigger finger move. Hope that helps. Uh, give me some feedback on this. Let me know if it resonates with you. I've bounced this off of a few folks uh, in the past, both new shooters and experienced shooters. For some, it's really taken hold. For others, it hasn't resonated at all uh, for whatever reason. Uh, let me know what you think. Look forward to hearing from y'all. And cut. Well, no, no action, right? Cut is when you finish. I, I keep fucking this thing up. All right. Go. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, make sure you... Oh, geez.